Hi everyone, my name is Glenn Bartley and welcome to another video blog. I'm down here in Ecuador and I wanted to share a little bit of a review of a new product that has come onto the market, the Unique Ball. Now the idea behind the Unique Ball is that it's kind of a hybrid ball head and gimbal head. And some have definitely been touting it as a replacement, uh, a lighter weight replacement to a true gimbal head such as the Wimberly, which is the product that I use. So I wanted to test one out. Um, b and Photo Video was nice enough to send me one, and so I thought I'd bring it down here to test it out and see what I thought. So let's start with the good. Well, the ball head is definitely lighter than the Wimberly head. Uh, you do save a bit of weight. I'll put some specifications down at the bottom of the screen here so you can see the actual weight savings. Um, and you do kind of get the best of both worlds. So for example, when I loosen off the ball head, you've got a, a traditional ball head action here. And if I tighten that down and want to use it like a gimbal head, I can loosen this knob and then I can just pivot and, and tilt like this. So it's essentially replicating what you'd have with a gimbal head. So it's a great idea, but here's the problem. The ball head is not the best ball head I've ever used. And as a gimbal head, it's not even close to the smooth, solid, good action of the, of the Wimberly head. So why would you buy this product? Well, if you're somebody who shoots with a lens up to about a 300 2.8, maybe if you're using a Wimberly Sidekick or just a ball head and you find that it often flops over or, it, or it's just not, not giving you the, the movement that you desire, this might be a good option. I would say for anyone over a 300 2.8, if you're using a gimbal head, I'd stick with it. Um, I don't think that this offers any benefits over, over a traditional gimbal head. There's a few main problems too. When you're using a really big lens, typically you have a large lens plate on, and the location of the gimbal loosening knob is very awkward. If you have a plate on here in your lens, it's, it's kind of awkward to access that, whereas on the Wimberly head, it's just right where you need it. Another issue is that if you're trying to mount a flash bracket, um, you've got to figure out where you're going to mount it. So probably what you're going to have to do is have a long plate, flash bracket coming off here, meaning you're going to lose a lot of the height and the benefit of your flash bracket, or you'd have to have an L plate on your camera, which is again going to add weight and really not as comfortable to be shooting with. So if you are a long lens shooter, you're shooting with a 500, 400, 28, 600 millimeter lens, I hate to tell you, but the Wimberly is still the king of gimbal heads. It's the best on the market as far as I'm concerned, and this will not be replacing my Wimberly in my photo bag. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.